What's going on? I'm sure you guys can tell I am not in the same chair I normally am, but that's not very important. We're doing compound blur. To get compound blur onto your clip, you're gonna go effects, video effects, blur, and then compound blur. Throw that bad boy right on there and let's get blurring. Once you have compound blur on your clip, the first option you'll see in your effects control panel is your blur layer. And what this is doing is it's choosing the layer to pull the blur from. So if you wanna affect a clip on video layer three with video layer two, you set the effect on video layer three and choose source video layer two and then turn your blurriness up. The next option you have in your effects control panel is maximum blur. And maximum blur is literally just the strength of your blur. So you can turn that all the way up. I think it rolls infinitively. Let's get more blurry. The next option we have is if layer sizes differ. Now this is just a checkbox with no information about it and I spent a good 30 minutes trying to figure out what it does. Literally could not get it to do anything. So if you have any information on what it does, reach out to us, let us know. We'll make an updated video for this, just updating that fact. But as of right now, I'm gonna recommend just don't mess with it. Don't do anything with it, ignore it, move on to the next one. This next effect in your control panel is invert blur. What the blur is actually doing is it's taking all the lightness in your clip and blurring it more than the darkness in your clip. So if you're inverting it, it's literally just flipping the two and it'll blur the darkness more than the lightness. It's just a aesthetic choice as most of this blur is. So it really doesn't make a difference which one you're using if it fits your need. A big use of this blur is to soften a clip. So to give like a dream sequence-esque feel, to show like flames a little differently to make it smoother. It, it's a kind of cool, versatile clip. No, oh, damn it. I was almost done with that sentence and then I said clip instead of effect. I meant effect. To get that dream effect, you're gonna take one clip you're gonna duplicate it, layer them on top of each other so they match, keep them exactly the same. For the top clip, you're gonna put compound blur on it. Then, on the bottom clip, you're gonna do absolutely nothing. Top clip, you're gonna change how it blends to either multiply or hard light. Then, mess with your blurriness, go into your effects controls, change everything you need, you can move the opacity around a little bit, go over to lumetri color. You can change the brightness, contrast, however you want to do it but it's going to start see you'll start seeing that like the dreamscape the dreamy effect and then just mess with it from there for how you want it but it, it's a really like interesting way to get this effect i like it it looks really cool you can get a couple of cool different effects with this blur as well i used it to put a fire scene over a clip then you mess with the opacity mess with your blur and your blending modes and it kind of gave it that like up front fire but the clip was playing it looked a little dramatic you can really mess around around with this a lot thanks for watching we'll be back next week but will we be in the same place i really really hope so i really don't want to move again